Sadly, today we are leaving Edinburgh. We're headed all the way to Dublin, Ireland. We're taking two trains, two taxis, one ferry. We're going all the way down to Holyhead. We're catching the ferry and we're gonna go through Wales to Dublin, Ireland. Yes, today's a travel day and it is 6.11 in the morning. If you guys don't believe me, the sun is rising. Let's get it. Our first train of the day, Avanti West Coast, 6.44, and we made it with 10 minutes to spare. Oh, almost forgot my luggage. That would have been bad. We love the lights, though, in interior, okay. So, Avanti West Coast, their train. What do you get on it? Of course, it comes with your standard UK Type G. Honestly, this Scottish landscape on the west side is very beautiful. Like, look at this mountain, like. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's really good orange juice. Eight out of 10. So I'm still currently still trying to make sure I write everything down in my travel notebook. And I'm a couple of days behind. I still need to finish the Brighton one. I still need to finish the Sterling one and also Edinburgh in this travel notebook. Waffle with a cherry compote and a Greek yogurt. Well, he's got scrambled eggs and sausage and toast. Oh, so you're throwing it back with some basicness. Yeah. Yeah. So I got the great British breakfast, which comes with a fried egg, comes with some bacon, a tomato, sausage, and mushroom. Bacon looks pretty good. Eight out of 10 bacon, especially for a train. Sausage. Or oh, hot. Well, that's good sausage. Now, I don't know what this thing is. If you know what this thing is, let me know. It's not bad, but I don't really much. First train done, Warrington Bank. Kauai, I'm not sure. But now we have to do one more train, one ferry, and then one taxi. Avanti West Coast train too? Their first class is the best I've seen here so far. 1017 Holyhead, it's 0949. And we are way on time. Well, way on time. We're early. Dad, did you train for this? What? Being able to carry two suitcases and push brother up a hill. Here at this station, they do have a waiting room, and the waiting room has plugs. Oh, and they have a departure sign, so you don't get left. We love that, don't we, Dad? Or do you want to go back outside because it's warm? I'm going back out. It's sunny. He's from Texas, so he needs his son. So we have now made it back to England, and I'm about to enter my 31st country, Wells, and I'm super excited. And yes, if you're wondering, I am sitting on my suitcase. This is probably the best seat for traveling whenever you don't want to stand, and there's no seats, because y'all know, at train stations, there's like 10 seats for 200 people. It's just so crazy seeing all these different train stations and just being taken to different landscapes and seeing different architecture and buildings. And the sun is out, and my dad is of course walking the platform, trying to get his exercise on. All right, let's see what my dad is doing on this platform right now, because he's walking back and forth. I think it's because the weather is warm, and he's trying to get that good, that good power walking. It's kind of like an Amtrak train smoke break. This is one of those things that Amtrak calls a smoke break, where you can, you know, stretch your legs, breathe in that good fresh air. Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dad? Walking. I gotta get back on the train now. I'm gonna be able to walk. You're getting that good exercise in.
Thank you. And we're on our last train. You gotta love the countryside of England and Scotland. It's very beautiful, lush and green. It might rain a lot, but just look at this. If you really don't like train travel, you need to come take a train here in the United Kingdom. So this is what our setup looks like on the second train, the transport to Wells. You do get two USB plug outlets and one plug outlet. You get a, a little small table, two cup holders. So we made it to Wales, my 31st country, and it looks like in the station, the colors are actually the colors of the flag. You have a red and a green. It's very, it's very simple, but I like it. And when you get off the train, it literally has a sign on your left saying all ferry passengers. So just follow that way. I have a question for anyone who is Welsh. So I see that it says Holyhead and then above it, I'm gonna assume that that's Welsh above it. And if so, Hey, language looks very interesting. Hmm. So we have about an hour and a half until we have to get onto the ferry. So we figured we'd come into the town and we would see what is Holyhead Wells like. And yes, Wells is its own country, but it is in the United Kingdom. They have their own language, Welsh, and also, of course, English. And we don't have enough time to see what all of Holyhead has to offer. So I'm sorry, I can't give you guys the proper video to showcase this city. But I am standing in front of this memorial in memory of a Welsh guardsman killed in action in the Falkland Islands, which is down there by uh, Argentina. And this was in 1982, 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. I don't know. I feel like when you walk by a memorial like this, you have to see it. But we have to head to the market to get some snacks before we get on the, the ferry. That sausage roll was so good for one pound and 20 pence, but I almost got attacked by a seagull. Like, I was just like, wow. So we're finally gonna try this uh, this Scottish drink. All right, so the Scottish drink, let's see if it's good. Oh, it tastes like bubble gum. I feel like this is an acquired taste. It's not, it's not bad, but I think it's an acquired taste. Hmm. Six out of 10. You gotta love the fact that their logo and on their flag is a drag. You gotta love that. And the fact that they're still using their language. I don't think I've ever entered a ferry or a cruise ship through the actual, where the freight and the, the cars go. Interesting boarding process. Let's see how this compares to Viking Line. And y'all know I love Viking Line. I'll link the videos all down in the description, but Viking Line from, you know, Finland to Estonia to Sweden, Viking Line's definitely my favorite type of, uh, my favorite ferry company. Okay, for two people, this cabin is, is really big. What do you think, Mom? I do, I think we got plenty of space. Lay down, get a nap, can look out and see what's happening on the water. So, you have a TV, two beds that are not bunk beds, a spacious restroom, emergency call button. You got a shower. You have a shower if you want to, you know, freshen up. Got a sink. Does it work? It works. Okay. Not bad. Two outlet plugs and two USBs. And then two portholes. Two portholes. Now these are very spacious portholes in the water in this, I think this is the Irish Sea. It is very beautiful. Okay. They have a car deck. They have a movie lounge, trucker's lounge, teen town, children's play area, a shop duty free, uh, a Stena plus, restaurants and bar, and cat. Movie lounge, Peter Rabbit, Runaway, show all screenings. Movie lounge two. We launched three, The Rise of Gru. Close. I have a snack machine too. Get you some drinks. Wow, this does feel like a movie theater. 
Viking Line does not have movie theaters, though, at least. At least not the ones I've been on. Oh, there's no, this is actually, there's no one in here. Oh my God, look at this. So you got these nice comfy chairs. And then you have a little area. So you have the little benches. Wow, okay. This is a pretty good size movie theater on a ferry. That's crazy. And apparently the movies start 10 minutes, the movies start 10 minutes after the departure time. Let's go check out the other theater, see if they're different. This is a different movie theater, actual comfy seats. Okay, all right. Pretty nice size. But if you do want to watch a movie, get here early because there's not that many seats in here. It's like this place has an arcade. If you have kids and you want them to play games, car games, motorcycle games, try to win a prize. And there's a lot of seating on this place. A lot of seating. How do you get in here? This is it right here. So I couldn't figure out how to get into the lounge and I went to guest services and he gave me a pin to put in. No, that's so the lounge area with very comfortable seats that recline. And when I tell you, these seats are very comfortable. You even get a little neck pillow. Like I don't think I've I don't think I've ever had a neck pillow. Looks like you get a reading light. Oh yeah, that's that's a bright light. You get an actual um, Type G plug outlet. Um, you get a Type G plug outlet and one USB and a little small cup holder. These are very comfortable actually. So you get a gorgeous view. Dad, how are you liking the seat? Mm -hmm. You didn't like your neck pillow? Mm -hmm. Hmm? You didn't like your neck pillow? Let me help you out, Dad. Lean back down, Dad. How's that? It's nice and comfortable, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And just so you guys know, my dad is six foot two. Mm -hmm. So you think it's pretty comfortable? Four. Hmm? They say I'm shrinking, I'm 6'1". Yeah, they just want you to think that so that they can be taller and more powerful than you. Don't believe the naysayers. If there's one thing I like after train travel, it has to be ferry travel. Having the wind in your face, smelling that good fresh air and that seawater, and just looking at small islands, like right, right behind me that I don't even know what island it is. Like, what a time to be alive. And just hearing the waves crashing against the ship and seeing what else you can do on the ship. Which we're gonna go check out the cafeteria. I have Swedish meatballs, um, pork and beef and mashed potatoes and a nice rich smooth gravy with litten berries. And the cucumbers are kind of pickled. And when you put all these flavors together, they just really warm the palate. And you got some sweet, some sour, some savory. What a great meal. Jim, okay. I just thought it was going to be quick. If I could just have that though. That's, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Exchange. Oh, this looks Thank great. You. Is this car? Um, I can't remember, but it's, Caldwell, it's either Caldwell or Haddock. Haddock, okay. Yeah. All right, Dad, I know you're happy. I know you're over the moon. Thank you for this. Probably happier than when I was born. Never. May be blessed. May the cook be blessed. And may all the juvenile part yeah. be blessed with as okay. much as I am on the Lord. Just me. How was the fish, Dad? Come here. Let me get your mouth. Dad? Mm -hmm. How was it? Mm -hmm. Dad, he ain't talking to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dad, how it is was, it? It's gone. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't feel me. It's very good. Welcome. Is it fresh? I didn't even know where to put it. Dad liked his mushy peas. This is a test. These are peas. Mmm. That's what Dad said. But I don't get my mashed potatoes. So this place does have a duty-free lounge. Honestly, so you can buy headphones in here, watches, they have vodka, tequila, they have wine, they have candy, but it's fairly small duty-free lounge. It's not that big. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So can you I just it. get the shots? You clicked it, not me. That's a lot of water, though. Thanks for all of it. It's water, man. Maybe when you see pouring water in, you should pour some of the water out. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I just woke up from the best naps ever. This neck pillow is definitely an added plus. And now I see, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure that is, that is Ireland. I definitely do recommend taking the ferry if you're coming from the UK and going to Ireland by the ferry and getting a good nap in. Dad, how was your nap? Well, I'm awake. I didn't feel like I was sleeping, but I'm awake. That's the best sleep then. Mm -hmm. That's the best sleep then. Mm -hmm. And now there's a whole nother country in front of you. I know. You know, I've never seen a big lighthouse. They always seem to be just fairly small. Are there big lighthouses out there? And if so, comment down below so I can go see a big lighthouse. This one's red, my favorite color actually. All right, now we are officially in Ireland, stepping on solid grounds. It's a little bit chilly. This is not goodbye, it's see you soon, or as we say in Swedish. Okay, is this Ireland or is this Sweden? I like it though, I like the Swedish. Guys, I lied, so we have to actually take a, another bus, Nolan Coaches, from the port when you get here in Ireland. One of the things I definitely don't like about this ferry is the fact that you have to take the bus into the actual boat where all the cars and trucks are at. And the reason why I don't like it is because it just feels unsafe. Because when you get off the boat, they have to tell the passengers, the foot passengers, hey, don't go, don't walk yet until we give you the green light because there's no passenger way to get off. Because you have to get on another bus again and they're gonna take you outside of the, bu the bus. But besides that, I do like the ferry. The ferry was pretty chill. What a travel day, y'all taking two different trains, going all the way from Edinburgh back to England, two wells, crossing the Irish Sea by a ferry. Like what? I don't know where I'm headed to next, but I know it's somewhere here in Ireland. If you guys wanna follow me to 196 countries, hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, I'm gonna go lay down.